Hi everyone, this is Matt Neiman with U.S. Sailing Regatta Network. The video you're about to watch today is a overview on how to change some of the graphic elements on your new event site that you just created. Um, again, this is the default look of the site when uh, you add an event it is all created automatically but the first thing we hear from a lot of people is that they want to change out this main banner graphic and we're going to show you how to do that right now first thing we're going to do is head back over into our event uh, menu in Regatta Network and we're going to go to upload event documents you may have used this before um, to upload things like your NOR and items like that so what we're going to do is select to upload a new document and let's choose our file. I've got this nice sailing picture here. I'm going to open that, give it a title such as event site banner. This is so that you know what the item is in the list after it's been uploaded. And we're going to select event site banner image and click to upload the image. And as soon as that finishes uploading, it's going to take you to your document detail page. Now you notice I uploaded a image that's pretty large and uh, the system is letting me know that for what we're attempting to use this image for uh, that we have a dimensional requirement and to please crop the image to correct the dimensions so we're going to click OK and that'll take us into the crop mode for this image um, you can move this area around to select the area that you want to be used as the final image that we end up cropping um, you can move it up and down you can also zoom in or out uh, depending on what layout you want and what area of the image you want to use. So I'm going to put this right about there and click Save Crop and our image is then cropped and resized to the correct dimensions and ready to check on our event site. So when we go over to that you will need to hit Refresh and there you go we have our new image um, as our banner and uh, one thing to keep in mind on these banner images is that we do have this area that displays the date and location information for your event so it usually helps to pick an a, a image that has some you know clear space that so that this text is easily readable there's also this learn more button that takes the person directly to the registration and info page so just keep that in mind when you're selecting the image um, another item that I want to show you that's related to images and uploads is our event sponsor option uh, images. This can be used for not only actual sponsors for the event um, or maybe you want to upload a uh, burgee and that's what I'm going to do here so we're going to first choose a file. We're going to we're actually kind of lucky on this event we've got coca-cola to sponsor it so we'll call this our coke image and we're going to select event site sponsor graphic and as the thing you will see that the uh, image comes up again to let you know that this type of document has a dimensional requirement and you need to select the crop uh, the difference on the um, sponsor graphics is that they can it's, it's all a function of the width so you can actually um, have a little more control on the shape and size of your crop with these particular images so maybe you want to not use all that extra space and we'll go ahead and click uh, save the crop now that one's ready and the great thing about this too is if your sponsor happens to have a website that you want to link to um, you can do so by giving this a link like that and click save and now when we refresh the site you'll see that we have our new sponsor image there and when you click on it it will indeed take you out to coke.com um, another kind of side use you can use this for is if you just want to put something up uh, either maybe possibly information or a banner uh, information ad uh, even we've seen it being used for club burgies so in this case we're going to select a burgie and even though this is not a sponsor graphic we're going to use it in the sponsor graphic space and upload that document and that one happened to fit the dimensional requirements so we're good to go and we can save those settings and refresh our page and now you'll see it's included along with our sponsors and uh, that section goes uh, 
on certain pages throughout the site. Um, and just a really easy way to add some graphic content um, to your site. If for any reason you need to pull something down, it's as easy. You kind of have two options here. You can come in to edit the image and just disable its purpose by making this a other option. If we don't want to publish that, we'll click Save. And now when we refresh the site, that image is no longer displayed in the Sponsor section. Um, if you want to get rid of the image altogether, you can always come in here and delete the document. And you're good to go. I uh, hope that answers some questions for you. Uh, look forward to seeing you in the next series of videos. Thank you.